All right, guys, so welcome back. If you've uh, been watching, you know that this floor that I've got here is uh, it's a parquet floor. I think it's called the basket weave. You can see that there's the, uh, the five panels this way, and then there's the, the five panels the alternative way, and then it goes all the way. So you can obviously see that in the kitchen space, I've got a different kind of floor, and then towards the kind of dining area, is, is the parquet floor. It is a hardwood floor and it's made up of pieces of wood like this. So these are all hardwood um, and each one is kind of glued down in a specific configuration to make up the pattern. So the only unfortunate thing is, is all of this has to come up. Um, I've got the entire sort of downstairs area all the way down through into the hallway. And so I'm basically gonna be pulling all that up today. Um, I've got a handful of sort of hand tools to try and get it up first. I'm just going to try and lever it up so uh, as gentle as possible, see if I can keep the pieces. So this is a sort of cleaner area. You can kind of see the kind of pattern and the grain and stuff. It's actually a beautiful floor, but unfortunately I don't have enough of it for the entire downstairs. And also I'm going to be doing some reconfiguration of the room. So it just kind of won't work for me, but I'm going to be pulling it up today. I'm going to use a couple of basic hand tools, just some levers and stuff to try and like pull it off. Um, the adhesive is a kind of bitumen tar style adhesive so I mean it's kind of got a little bit of flex in it and hopefully it should just sort of pop off the floor. Um, failing that I've kind of got a, a hammer drill as well with a ch like a chisel piece and that should hopefully kind of grab those bits up and, and pull them up. I'm hoping that given the age of them as well um, it should come up quite easily. So I think the trick is with these is to really just to find an angle on them. So I've got this tiny Amazon Basics little lever and I'm hoping that's kind of just going to be slim enough to get underneath them and to pull them up. So let's just give this a go now. There we go. So that came up pretty easy and you can see that the tar, the tar is on the back. So um, let's just keep going and see where we get. Obviously the hardest part probably for, for most people is going to be grabbing the first one because these things are really well put down usually and they're very tight so it's very difficult to find that first corner but once you do you can kind of just keep chipping away so so I'm not actually sure what kind of wood this is but if anyone knows please leave a comment below I'm really interested to find out Kind of sticky bitumen it's just basically laid directly onto the concrete um, it's kind of got a little stickiness to it but nothing too bad i'm sure this will kind of get covered in dust anyway and it'll stick to that i've got a long way to go so uh, let's get cracking and carry on another thing to note about this kind of tar bitumen stuff is sometimes it can contain asbestos it's our favorite <laughs> favorite substance but um, one of the things I did do was get this also tested and it came back as uh, not containing asbestos so obviously you know if you suspect it might be using some sort of asbestos especially with older floors just worth getting it checked out before you start like making loads of mess. Alright so these ones are getting a little bit harder now. Um, Going to kind of size up to a little bit of a bigger one. So I bought all these Amazon Basics uh, levers in a set. Uh, I'll link it down below if you want if you want to set. These need a little bit more muscle. I don't know if it's just because they're more tightly packed together in the center, so maybe I should kind of work more outwards, inwards again. Um, but see if I can get something a little bit stronger to get these up.
how satisfying was that guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay so in the interest of time we're going to be stepping up a little bit i'm going to be using this uh hammer drill uh with a 75 mil chisel tip um i put it on the lowest setting as well and i'm just going to kind of like chip away through these and see if i can still get them up i've done quite a fair bit so far you can see and all the way around there as well. I think some of these kind of had a little bit of water damage as well, so it's just made them much easier to come up. But some of the middle ones are really packed tight, and so uh, started to kind of kill my hands from chipping away with the levers. So yeah, I'm going to give uh, give this a go. I just picked this up actually for about forty five pounds. Um, it's park side, so it's from the local Lidl. But yeah, I mean, I didn't really need it for anything more than a few pieces of uh, work around. So yeah, I wasn't really looking to invest a huge amount of money in one of them and I'd likely, when this is done, I'll probably be done with all the work as well. So, okay, let's give this a go, see what happens. So guys, you can see this is making pretty light work uh, of all of them so far. I think I'm actually not going to take me too long to get through the rest of them. Definitely some tips for this one. Definitely to kind of work your way at an angle towards these and then kind of lift up, you know, without you kind of hitting an edge. So, all right, let's crack on. Alright guys, so that is the job basically done. It took me about the better part of an hour and I think I spent about 15 or 20 of it just on this corner. So once I got the heavy duty tools, I obviously made really light work of these. Most of them, like I said, were not really well fixed down. So yeah, effectively it came, came away pretty easily. A few in the corner there that I have to kind of just chip up there underneath the skirting board, but I can do that manually with the lever. So yeah, all in all, pretty straightforward. There's uh, clearly a bit of cleaning up to do, but these are all just kind of big pieces of wood. Um, if you guys know of what I could do with these, um, if there's a kind of secondary market or anything for them, please let me know. And also if you know what kind of wood it is, that'd be really much appreciated because I'm not sure what kind of wood uh, I've got down here. So yeah guys, this is how you would uh, pull up a parquet floor. Pretty straightforward, you don't need many tools, keep it simple. Um, and it'll come up pretty easily. I'll just scoop all these into a bucket now um, and set them aside until I figure out what I want to do with them. So if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up and if you've got any comments or suggestions for the next video please let me know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.